I feel like this has become my little like intro spot because I always get ready for the day and I'm like what just intro the video here so, hi welcome back to another video I didn't end up posting last Sunday which I was gutted about but it was because I have been unwell guys my sickness was back with a vengeance the last couple of weeks basically worked out um, with my doctor that I think it was the iron tablets that I had put on because they were making me feel nauseous again. So I've come off of those. Um, and then I think my immune system was just really down last week. And I picked up the like fluey cold thing that like everyone's had, even though I've been using so much hand sanitizer <laughs> to try and avoid it. But I did get it and I thought I was getting a bit better on Friday and then the weekend was rough. I was up like all night coughing and yeah, feeling 90% better today. You can probably still hear it in my voice, but I'm gonna have just like a nice chilled at home day um, and bring you along with me. So plan for this morning is to go and grab some um, veg basically. I'm gonna make a minestrone soup. It's this soup that if you follow me on Instagram, you will know I've been making for the last couple of years. I am obsessed with it and it's so easy. I'm gonna make a big batch of that. I think mum and dad are gonna come around for some lunch and I'm just gonna do a bit of like meal prep this afternoon. Um, I haven't decided what yet, but I'm gonna try and just get like stocked up on some nice bits for the week and make some bits from scratch. So I'll show you what I decide to make. And then I'm also going to show you our bathroom plans and where we're at with like house stuff, renovation stuff. Um, the bathroom renovation is beginning. Sean is doing it all. <laughs> well, not all. He'll need like a little bit of help. But we've basically measured and picked everything ourselves. It's arriving tomorrow, so I don't know if I'll just vlog today or tomorrow as well. We'll see how today goes. But I am nervous because we've like picked everything ourselves, measured it ourselves. I'm like, have we made a mistake? Is this okay? So it should be arriving, I think, tomorrow. Um, and I think the tiles are arriving tomorrow as well, separately. And yeah, I'll show you what the plan is, and then hopefully I can kind of bring you along on the bathroom renovation too and yeah Sean's gonna try tiling for the first time which I feel like he's gonna smash as in <laughs> smash in a good way but yeah we'll see we'll see how it goes I'm realizing as well that in every single video I'm basically just wearing the same outfit I am just going for comfort now I bought these these were in like a bigger size they are actually a bit big I thought it's good to have a pair where I can like get a lot bigger in um and just be comfortable so it's another day another jumpsuit and a striped top i bought these in h&m actually i saw them online they're like ribbed and really soft and i think they were like 12 quid so i just got them in like three different colors and they are perfect under all my different dungarees and jumpsuits and i think as the weather is it is turning now, it's starting to turn, which I think I'm the only person in the UK who is absolutely buzzing for it to become autumn. I'm like, come on, I don't want any more hot days. I'm like the summer Grinch, but it's just because I feel like clothing wise, I just find it so much easier to dress anyway in the winter, let alone pregnant as well. I am so excited to have like jumpers and hats and scarves on um, even though I think it will be a while until we get to that point but I'm very much looking forward to like all the like cozy autumn vibes and just some like weather consistency if that's even a thing here that would be that would be nice I'm really rambling what have we talked about soup the weather clothes I'm gonna go and get in the car and go to the shops and pick up some hopefully beautiful veg and then, yeah, get cooking. No, I think we've got, got the
right i'm not sure how optimistic i'm being but obviously the minestrone soup is the priority because mum and dad are come for lunch and i want to batch make that for the week um and then i decided i'm gonna make no bake bars i actually went on my blog but not even on a blog post i had to go back into the like back end of the blog and find this recipe that we used to make it has like what are they called quinoa puffs in them and some other tasty things but yeah we used to be obsessed with them and i was like i want to make those so no bake bars then i was going to make some chocolate peanut dates to go in the freezer because they're delicious and i've not made them for ages then what else was it oh i was going to make a banana loaf so lots of like sweet treats obviously we do hello fresh for dinners so minestrone soup for lunch hello fresh for dinners and then snacks will be all of these sweet treats basically i'm gonna make the soup first priority then crack on with sweet treats after <laughs> about making it up I've just decided to add some butter beans because why not so I'm just gonna plonk them in as well added the pasta and all the greens starting to resemble minestrone I have just sat down the soup has just stopped bubbling away so it's almost ready I'm gonna add some croutons to it too um, but I need to make them first and before that I'm gonna freshen up the table get the kitchen looking nice make it smell lovely and I want to talk to you about a brand that I have just been loving this year they're a this year discovery and I am not looking back they're called Purdy and Fig they do the most beautiful non-toxic cruelty free products and yeah let me show you a little bit more about them so basically there's two ways you can shop them you can either buy their products individually or you can sign up to a subscription-based service which i love with the subscription-based service you'll get a starter box which looks like this their branding by the way is just gorgeous just going to keep saying beautiful and gorgeous and it comes with a lovely glass cleaning bottle which is yeah gorgeous <laughs> and then a cloth as well look at the color of that so nice we're just about to paint the lounge that color and then your three cleaning concentrates there are two different um boxes you can either do their signature which comes with three concentrates which are their like best sellers or you can do seasonal and obviously i've gone seasonal because there is nothing nicer than your home smelling of the season that you're in this is the autumn box and the scents oh my gosh they sound incredible so we've got juniper and cardamom delicious lavender and chamomile and then patchouli and cedarwood and oh my gosh these smell so incredible so all we do is take the scent that you want to use pop it into your glass bottle and then fill it with water and you're ready to go and honestly cleaning with this not only leaves your home obviously beautifully clean it just smells like you've had like a diffuser on all day and especially when guests are coming over it's just gorgeous <laughs> I've said it again, haven't I? The seasonal ranges are based around what's blooming and what's in season right now. So it really will smell kind of relevant and fresh to the season that you're in. And you get new concentrates delivered every three months. So 
you'll always have a top up of what you need in the kind of new sense. I love that it makes just your everyday cleaning feel more special and that your home is just left feeling really fresh and naturally scented. Um, yeah, I'm gonna tidy up now, clean everything, and I'll show you the little lunchtime table look I'm gonna go for. All of the starter sets, which I, like I said, come with the bottle, and then the three concentrates and the cloth, are 50% off at the moment. And then also, if you use the code POPPY, you get a further 10% off. So you're saving 60% at the moment. So I'll leave all the details in my description box below. But yeah, gonna get cleaning. <laughs> This is the focaccia I went for, so I thought I'm going to chop it in half, cut it into big lovely square chunks and then put it in the grill for a little bit and make some really beautiful big old croutons to go on top of the soup. This is the finished little lunch set up. Soup and croutons ready for everyone. They're just about to arrive. And I'm still laughing about the fact that the purple carrots have dyed the whole soup purple. But I'm sure <laughs> it's gonna taste amazing. Morning, it is the next day. Lunch was very successful yesterday. And then I just had some meetings and had like an early chilled evening. Um, today's plan is I'm gonna meet my mum this morning and go to an antique shop, basically on the hunt for a pine chest of drawers to be like the baby changing table. So it needs to be quite a like specific height. We've seen some really nice ones, but they're too tall, so you'd be like leaning over to change the baby, which obviously isn't ideal. I'm gonna go on a little hunt this morning and then have some food out, I think. And then the bathroom stuff has just started to arrive, which is so exciting. I think it's the tiles that have just got here. So I'll show you those. Um, and then all the like toilet and the sink and everything's arriving later, which again, who knew a toilet arriving could be so exciting. We did end up doing, I say we, Sean ended up doing the meal prepping yesterday. Managed to get the banana bread done last night and also the dates and they all look delicious. It should be a nice day. I'm gonna head out now. I'll bring you to the antique shop. Fingers crossed we find something and then I will show you the banana bread and the dates as well. Okay, all the tiles are here. First phase of the bathroom. What are we saying? You gonna have Do a little wanna, peek? Yeah, so I'll look at the green ones. Ooh, really grand reveal. Ooh, they're lovely. Mm -hmm. What a nice colour. How pretty. Yeah, I want to see them like together because we haven't decided on a pattern yet, have we? Bearing in mind I'm going to be doing this myself <laughs> and I've never tiled before. Yeah, so. we're, we're going easy. We tried to pick tiles that would be like maybe a simple design. I say that, yeah, but, but people will said, be like, that's not simple. Well, I haven't decided on the design yet. <laughs> Am I going to go herringbone and then I'm like this? Oh, please don't say herringbone. We've gone for very simple again. We've just went for white. Well, like a creamy white. Creamy white, but they're not all like the same, if that makes all sense. All the same colour, yeah. yeah. Oh no, I like it. Sid likes it. <laughs> <laughs> these are going to be covering the shower in the top floor. Mm -hmm. And then these are the floor. I think I already said that, but I feel like they go very well. We just wanted something really timeless, something that we can love forever, hopefully. I'm so happy with this colour because... I wasn't 100% sure, but... No, they're lovely. <gasps> they look so nice. I'm so excited. And also, I like, again, like, I like how they're all different. Like, they're a bit rustic-y looking. This is the antique shop in 
cove, I hope you can hear me. I mean like even that table, I'd love a big old dining table like this. Just like that, we're home already. Lovely little brunch and, well, it's kind of lunch by the time we ate. Um, lovely little lunch at Rust, which we go to all the time. It's one of our favorites. And then we found a chest of drawers, which I cannot believe. I was fully not expecting to buy something today. Obviously hoping, but not expecting. It was a lot bigger than what we were planning, but surely that's just a good thing, more storage and it's like longer perfect height yeah i am absolutely chuffed it's arriving tomorrow morning so i will probably show you that in the next video and we're still waiting on the second bathroom lot to arrive today so hopefully i'll be able to show you some of that later on and my mum is still here she's going to help me with some organizing bits this afternoon but first I'm gonna have a piece of banana bread. So let me show you what Sean made yesterday. Finally, we got to the banana bread. Ta-da! This is the banana bread. I made. Don't try and claim that. <laughs> what, me saying life. that I made I it? I made that last time. No, night. I said you made it. I whipped it up. I added the ice and sugar. I was terrified that it was gonna sink, but it didn't. Well done. I don't know what it tastes like yet, though. Do you want a slice? Yeah, I've been waiting for you to do Have this you? bit so I can eat it Have since you? last night. What, for me to show it? Yeah. Oh. Wow, it looks lovely. This is very exciting. All the boxes. For you, a little bit <laughs> daunting. Okay, what can we open? This. This is really what is cool. that? This is our new shower head. Look at this, this all fancy and shit. Oh my gosh, look how yeah. they package it. So this that is, is the so exciting. This might be really boring vlog content guys, but no, it's not. You know, renovation you, um, renovation series starting. It. Look, it's really fun. <laughs> oh, that is stunning. Isn't it just? That actually is really lovely. Compared to what we've been used to, this yeah. is gonna feel unbelievable. What else we got? We can show you the basin. Yeah. Here's our <laughs> new basin. <laughs> it's so sweet. So that's gonna go on legs. Yeah, it's got like Isn't a little it? towel rail as well, which yeah, is really, like really sweet. Legs. Do you wanna see some tap knobs? These are nice. This is very exciting for us guys. No, it we'll wait, let me focus. Knob. Beautiful. Right. Should we just check that this says cold and not hot as well? Yeah. Yeah. Ta-da! Ta-da! Got all the tiles. We've got all the shower bits. That's the shower door, shower tray, toilet. Everything's there basically. So everything's arrived. We're not gonna start next week, but I think it'll be the week after. 